Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a different kind of video for you today. I'm going to be making a video sharing how I use my traveler's notebook and I'm gonna be decorating the dashboard. So I'm gonna start out by showing you guys the products that I use to make the dashboard. I just pulled in some items that I found over in the shop that were in stock that I had. I tried really hard to pick items that I could find in the shop so that you guys could actually emulate and make one of these for yourself. So first up, I'm going to be using this stamp set. This is by Craft and Desert Divas, and this is my DT stamp for this month. It's called Dreamland, and I just love this stamp so much. You get these little cuties here, and I thought this would be so cute to make a little dashboard. So you've got this little cutie here with a little pillow. There's a little lamb. I love that one here. She's got a coffee cup, and you got this little cutie here with her little... Um, mask cover you've got some more little clouds there and this little cutie here as well so i'm going to be using this to make some paper clips today i also pulled in some washi tapes um these three here are actually in the shop this one is a really cute little donut one how sweet is it this one has some little hearts on it and then this one is a um it has little rainbows on it and then these two i just picked up from they were in my stash from Michael's. So those are the washi tapes I'm going to be using. I picked up a really cute little doodle pop. This has a little rainbow. It's glittery and it's got two little um, clouds there. It's called the Over the Rainbow. And I think this will be so cute to decorate. It's got some glitter. I've got this little package of odds and ends, and it has a ton of die cuts in there. There's all the ones that come in it, and there is one of these left in stock. It has 84 pieces, which is amazing. So perfect for decorating your um, dashboards. And then I have two Doodlebug paper pads. This one here is cream and sugar, and it's really cute. I thought that'd be really cute for kind of like a coffee and um, pajamas sleepover type of theme. And then this one is the fairy tale, so I'm going to use that as well. So this is my traveler's notebook and basically what it is is it's just um, a holder basically for notebooks and this is my dashboard from last time and it says never let anyone dull your sparkle and this is um, some cute little a cute little clip that I made and I've got some um, post-it notes in there and little bits and pieces and it basically just has some elastics that hold your notebook so I've got my bullet journal um, this is just a little piece of acetate um, there that like separates it um, I have a little book for my Etsy shop it's got this cute little shop there with like ideas and then this is a little journal and it says girls just want to have sun so that's my little journal and then I also have a spot for bills so I am gonna leave all the notebooks as they are and I'm going to take everything out of my dashboard and then I can decorate my dashboard to share with you guys and I wanted to mention too this little die cut piece I just used um, this is actually just from the die cuts from this piece I've already used a ton of them so I used it to decorate that um, I also um, used this little bit um, this piece here and also this little piece and this little piece so those all came from the die cut pack so let's take everything out of here so um, I'm probably going to use this clip also this time because I love it. And this little one I made, it has my name on it. This is from a stamp by Neat and Tangled. And I'll set that aside. I just have like a ton of cards in there. And I add my washi tape on little washi tape sets. This is just a piece of, um, of wax paper that I used. And then I just had some pieces in the back here just to kind of give it some color. Um, I had a little flower and these were all just bits that I used from that set. This here I had put on a clip. It was a little unicorn. Um, I have a little rainbow and a little ephemera piece. And then this is um, just a pack of sticky notes that I had there. And then I've got um, the little unicorn there. And then I had just adhered this little never let anyone dull your sparkle to that bit there. So now that I took it all out, we can get started and um, add in all of our bits. I wanted to start out by making some cute clips using this stamp set by Craft and Desert Divas called Dreamland. So I'm going to stamp out the images that I want to make clips with and I'm going to stamp out two images. One of the images is going to be the backing for the clip and then I'm going to color up the other image. And this just gives it some nice sturdiness to it and also it allows it to be white on the back and you don't see the coloring coming through. So I wanted one of each of these little girls and I also thought I'd make some cute die cuts. So I did the little lamb. 
And then I also did the cute little um, rainbow here and also the little teddy bear. And for these ones, I'm just stamping one because I'm just getting, going to color it up as a little die cut. So I'm just coloring up these little images using my Copic markers. I'm using E13 for the skin to start with. I wanted to make these little girls look like my skin tone. And they are just so cute. I love how they each are kind of have a different little sleepover image. Like one has the little eye mask and one has a pillow and one has the little sleeping cap is so cute. Then I blended that out with E11 and E00. And now that that's all blended, I wanted to add a little bit of our 20 to the cheeks just to give a little bit of pink. And I think that little pillow would be super cute paper pieced as well. Then I just went over it with E00 just to blend the pink into the skin tone. For the hair, I'm gonna do brown hair. I'm using E53 to start and I'm just coloring a whole base color. And you could just leave it like this, but I am going to do the flicking motion and add in some texture. So I'm gonna just do all the hair at once. So I'm adding E53 to all of the hair. And this is just going to be a base coat so that as I do the flicking motion, you'll see this color kind of like a highlight below it. And then I'm going to start with the flicking motion using E55. And the hair for these was really easy to color because it's a nice small spot. And I am turning the page as I go. It's easier when you're doing the flicking motion with the Copic markers to flick away from yourself. So I do turn the page as I'm coloring because I wanna always be flicking away from my body. It just makes a nicer um, flick on the image. Then I go in with E57 and each time when I add a darker color, I add less and less of it because I want the color that I used previously to show through. So I'm just doing the flicking motion there with E57. And I love this little girl's bun ears. I love putting my hair like this and my husband actually calls it my bear ears when I put my little buns up like that. And I just was so excited when I saw this little image had those little bear ears because I've never seen a stamped image before that had those little buns like that and pigtails. Then I went back with E55 just to add a little bit more um, darker in there. And then I take my darkest color, which is E59, and I'm just doing the flicking motion, and I'm adding just a very tiny bit of this color. I don't wanna cover up the colors that I already did. I just wanna add a little bit of accent. And the bare ears there were really cute to color. I really enjoyed doing those ones. And now I'm done with the little bit of hair color. Since I had all the browns out, I thought I'd go ahead and do the little teddy bear. So I'm using E59 for the darkest portion, E57, and then blending that out with E55. And this little bear is so cute. It has a little sleeping cap as well. And I think you could use this set, which would be really cute at Christmas time, and color up the little bear and the little girl with the sleeping hat, or even the little girl with the pillow. If you use Christmas colors, I think this would be so cute for like the night before Christmas. So now that I've got the little teddy bear, I'm going to start doing this little eye mask here. I'm using BV13 and BV00, or excuse me, BV01. And I'm just blending that out. And then I'm gonna use the same color combo for her little top. And also her little slippers, their little tiny bunny slippers. And I'm just blending all of that out. For the next little girl, I'm gonna use a pink color combo. I'm using RV14. And then I'm going to use that same color combo for her little top and her little slippers as well. And then I also go in and do the little pants in that pink color combo as well. Then for the next little cutie, I decide to do her blue. So I'm using BG13 and blending that out with BG10. And because I don't have a color in between those two, I'm just using the tip to tip technique and touching my lightest color to the darker color and then I get a nice color in between. And then I'm using that same blue combo for her little dress. 
And I totally realized that this part, I forgot to color in her little legs. So she's got these little white legs there. So um, I had to go back and color those in. And then I just took my white jelly pen and added some little white dots there on the dress. They were already there, but I just wanted to color them in nice and dark so they pop with the white jelly pen. Now I'm going to go in and color the little pillow that the little girl's holding. So I'm using the purple color combo for that. It is BV13 and BV01. And I wanted to add a little bit of polka dots on that pillow, so I'm just taking my white jelly pen and adding some little dots there. And then for the little polka dots on this little girl, I'm using BG13 just to add the little dots and BG10. And then I added some white cheeks, little dots on her cheeks. And I used the same pink combo for that little bear's hat and the blue combo as well. Then I'm using W1 for the little lamb. I just wanted a light shading. And I went in with E11 and E00. And then the R20 for the cheeks. And then I used the white jelly pen just to add a little dot on the cheek. And I used the black jelly pen on the nose and also on the little teddy bear's nose. And for the fence, I used E57 and E doubles, or excuse me, E55. So there are my little stamped images. I think they look so, so cute. Oops, I forgot the little rainbow. So I'm doing for the rainbow RV14 and 13 and blending that with RV11. Then I do a yellow color Y38, Y35, and Y32. Then I use YG06, YG03, and YG00. And then I use the purple color combo BV13 and BV01. And then for the cloud, I use BG13 and blend that with BG10. And I think that looks really cute. So now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just cutting all of these little images out. So here's the three little die cuts and then here are the little ones that I'm going to make into paper clips. So I'm just using my sewing scissors and I'm just trimming around these. I don't think these have coordinating dies, but if they do, I will have them linked below for you. And it was pretty easy to cut out these little bits. And then I'm going to cut out the little clips. So again, I had two of each of the little images. The little white one is going to be our backing. And these ones were fairly simple to trim out as well. And I just enjoy using my sewing scissors. They have a really nice sharp tip and they just really get into all the little spots. I love my sewing scissors. You can get them at Walmart or any place that would sell like sewing things. Just look in the sewing section. And so now I'm just trimming out my colored images. And then the last one here. And then we can make these into little clips. Now for our clips, I pulled out a cute little purple clip and I'm just showing how I'm going to put that clip in between the two images so that the color doesn't show through and also it will be nice and sturdy. I'm just taking this doodle pop and I'm gonna make this one into a little clip as well. So I'm actually just taking these little stickers and I'm putting them the way I want them onto this sheet and that is gonna give it a nice backing. And I'm just taking my sewing scissors and I'm going to trim around this whole little rainbow and so that way it'll be nice and sturdy for a paper clip. And I love all the glitter on this, it's so pretty. And now I wanna have a backing for it as well. So I'm going to head the little clip to the side there and I'm just going to, I'm deciding that I want the clip to be on the side because if it's in the center, you can kind of see it. So I just put it to the one side so that you don't see the clip. So I'm just going to take another piece of cardstock now and just trim around this little sticker here so that I'm going to be able to have a backing because I like to have two pieces when I'm making them into clips. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to start with the little rainbow one. So I'm adding a ton of glue. I put the clip down and then I just push that together. And there is that little clip. I love how the little clouds there are dimensional as well. And I'm just trimming around just to make sure all the little bits are trimmed off. 
And for the next ones, I'm going to do the cute little blue one first. And I'm just putting a ton of hot glue on the whole backing there. And it kind of makes it thick like a magnet, so it has some sturdiness to it. And then I'm just pushing that down. And then for the little pink one, I'm going to add on some more hot glue, put down the little clip, and then add the top. So cute, I love these so much. And now for the last one, there we go. And now we have all of our little clips here. And because the little rainbow is so sparkly, I wanted to add some glitter on there. So I'm taking my Spectrum Noir glitter pen and I am just glittering these babies up. They look so cute. And I will have the Spectrum Noir glitter pen linked below. Jamie does have these in the shop. And I'm just adding some glitter on those little die cut bits that I made as well. I'm just holding up the little clip so you can try to see that little bit of glitter on there. And now I'm going to make my little washi sample for in my notebook. So you could take a Project Life card to put the washi samples on or I just like to take a little piece of wax paper. So I just took a piece of wax paper and I'm gonna take this first little bit of washi and I'm just going to wrap it around and just keep adding a ton on. This donut washi is like life. It is so freaking cute. I will put the link below for it. I think there's one left in stock over in the shop. And then I'm taking this washi here. This was from Michael's. And I'm just adding it around and around. And I just find when I have these in my traveler's notebook that I will use my washi. And I love my washi so much. I use it a lot. I get ton of use out of my washi. But I get even more use out of it when I do these samples. Because it's right there with me in my notebook. And I'm more likely to use it. And I just love making it all cohesive and matching with like a theme for the month. That little heart one is also in the shop and I will link it below. It's one of my favorite ones that Doodlebug came out with. It has these cute little hearts and they have little faces on it. I love the rainbow. So I'm adding on that little star one. And then the last one here is this cute little one with the clouds and rainbows. And I think that one is also in stock. I'll link it below if it is. And then I just take my scissors to trim off that little bit of excess at the top. And we have our little washi sample. So now I'm going to get started by filling all the goodies into my traveler's notebook. So I had some little stickers there in the back and I popped those out. And now I'm just setting all the little goodies that we have, our little washi sample, our clips, and our little die cuts there so I can kind of get an idea of the color tones that I want to use. So I'm going to slip in these little post-it notes. I think that they match really nicely and you can just kind of fuss about with all of your little items and then you can add in some cute little papers. So I'm taking this cream and sugar paper and I'm looking through, they usually have cute little cut apart so I think that will be really cute and I'm just basically cutting out or ripping out, excuse me, all the little pieces of paper that I think might go nicely and there's always these cute little cut aparts and they make perfect little quote bits for the box there at the bottom. You can also add in like a picture in the bottom there, anything that you want. Now I'm looking in the other little one there and I found this little box here and I had a whole bunch of little bits left from the last time when I used this paper pad and so I cut out that cute little rainbow or like rainbow cloud there and then I'm also just pulling out some papers that I think will match nicely. There is so many cute ones to pick from I couldn't decide so I just pulled out a ton. And now I'm going to take, I have the card that I used last time, which is in a four by six size. And so I'm going to just slip in some different pieces in the background and it gives it some nice pops of color. So I'm taking a four by six card and I'm just seeing how that will look there. And so I'm just trimming it down and then you can pop that in there and it just gives it some cute background color. And then I'm going to cut this one out. It has cute little stars on it and I think that matches nicely as well. And the top there had a little bit of the plastic left so I just trimmed that down and then pop that in and it's starting to look so cute and I just love fussing about with it. And it's just really relaxing and it just gets me excited to use my traveler's notebook every time. It's so fun to change up all the themes. Like when it's my birthday, I like to decorate it like that or if it's fall or for the different seasons and holidays. It's just so fun changing it all out. So now I cut this card down to three by four and that's just so I have like a bit of a background and I just adhered on there that cute little quote card there and then I just adhered on that cute little teddy bear just to add on that die cut and I'm going to add in that cute little lamb and then I took this little cut apart here and I think I want to use the one that says sweet memories because it kind of reminds me of like sweet dreams. I think that's a cute quote there and I just trimmed around it and then I can pop that in just for a little bit of dimension. 
and I can add in my little clips and they're just so fun to put all the little bits in. I just love decorating this so much. It's like getting a new book every month when you decorate it. And it helps me use up all of my little bits and I love using my stamps to make little die cuts to stick in or it, there is always sentiments on your stamps as well so you could stamp out some cute little quotes using your stamp sets as well. So I leave most of this in just so you can kind of see how I go about doing this, like the process of it. So I'm taking these little odds and ends. This is the fairy tale set. I'm pretty sure there's one left in stock. I will link it below as well with all the other items. And now I'm just going to take that three by four paper and I stuck that in there for a little bit more color and I do fuss around with it quite a bit but that's kind of just like the process that I go through when I do it and then I'm going to take this other little paper here and I love the little plaid on it it kind of reminds me of pajamas so I'm adding that in there for a bit of pop of color And I will also have my traveler's notebook that I have linked below in case you guys want to find that as well. And it honestly looks so cute just like this, but I do want to add in some of the little die cuts. So I'm going to get out the little die cut pack and I added my little Kate Spade bow there. I always have that in every single spread. I love Kate Spade bows and I just had to pop that one in there for a little bit of gold. So this pack of die cuts comes with so many. I put in that cute little star one and there's just a ton in here. There's a whole bunch of cute clouds that I think would look nice. Um, it has a whole bunch of unicorns in there and like little birthday bits as well. These die cut packs from Doodlebug are literally so packed and they're a really good quality. They're, they're a nice thick die cut and I just love those. So I took that little Polaroid again just to add a little bit of dimension and it just kind of makes that first clip pop out. And as you guys can see, I move all these bits about so much. It's really hard to decide where I want them because there's just so many ways you can lay them out. But I'm really happy with how it all comes out in the end. So I popped in the little cloud there as well. And this page just makes me totally feel sleepy. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that is the way that I want to leave it there. And you can also cut up little bits of stickers or that kind of thing and pop them in so that you can use them. I literally get so much use out of the washi little samplers because I had them right there in the front of my book and I always use up the full thing of my washi bits almost every single time. So that is how I decide to put it and then I can put in my little washi strip and that is my finished little bit. And then I filmed this little clip after so you guys could see how much glitter is on those little cuties. How sweet are they? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will put the links below for all the products that you can find over in the Not Too Shabby shop. And if you do head over, don't forget to use the coupon code CRAFTYGIRL. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye now.